hello my loves welcome back to the channel so now we're going to attach the flounce to the dress now this is the dress i'm attaching this it's a beautiful dress i dropped i'll drop the cotton tutorial for this dress here on the channel so now you can place your flounce on your fabric okay like so now if you have um trimmings that you want to use to cover this part you can as well just place it like so and go and stitch on it this it would actually come out really beautiful because there are different methods you can you remember that you've overlocked the edges so you can just go ahead and just stitch it down like this okay so if you don't want too much stress too much trouble just place it down like so and go ahead and stitch it down then if you have trimmings you can always use it to cover it up but you so you also don't need to cover up the trimmings because you have set the upper part and everything is looking nice then alternatively or another method is to face it in the opposite direction okay so that by the time you are done stitching i'll just go ahead and pin it you can see just pin it all around so you can face it on the opposite direction okay this is the flounce just place it like so it's facing the side front right now it's no longer facing the center front you get so your upper part or the upper part of your flounce is no longer facing this the center front it's facing towards the side front right so this is dependent on how you want to attach it okay so for those of us that want to not cover with with uh, trimmings you just want to leave it bare like that okay and it will still look very beautiful okay because sometimes trimmings tend to you know spoil the beautiful work that you have done so after uh, stitching like this you can see that you're not going you're not going to be seeing even your set part on the outside you can see so when you when you sew it that way you go ahead and top stitch on it so it will lay really flat so that is what i'll be doing okay i don't want to just place it on the dress and stitch it down okay i want to flip it to the other other side so that by the time i'm done the other part will be concealed you get so i'm just going to place it just like one inch after my half length okay so that's where i want this to start so i'm just going to start uh, joining okay just join like um, one eighth of an inch away from the top of your flounce okay so you're just going to go ahead and stitch it all around from the front half length to the back half length okay if you want to attach it to a skirt from wherever you want to attach it to okay so it's not limited flounces are not limited to upper bodies alone you can attach your flounce to your sleeves to your armhole to your to the length of your dress to the sides of your dress anywhere you want to attach your flounce to okay so it's not limited to your upper bodies so you're just going to go ahead and stitch from where you want the flounce to start from to the end of where you want the flounce to end okay i hope that makes sense all right so just go ahead and stitch like so you can see so while you're stitching i'm just trying to take this gently at this point i'm not rushing anywhere i'm stitching on the parts on the transparent part of my lace okay there's no satin no la no uh, lining at that point the midpoint of this my work is transparent okay so i'm sewing on just the lace alone so you have to be really careful if you're working on something like this so that you stitch directly on the lace okay and i'm also trying to avoid the padded part okay i padded the bra area or the bust area so i'm also trying to avoid stitching on the padded area so gently start sewing or gently keep sewing till you get to um the end of your ruffles or your flounce so you can see that i'm taking it one step at a time gently okay i'm actually letting you see how long it is taking me okay so just keep sewing gradually gently now when you're sewing please be watching the underlay okay or the lower part or behind your your work okay just so that you're not sewing on something you're not supposed to stitch on because by the time you start loosening whatever you have sewn you're going to run into problems or difficulties okay so i'm done with the front i'm getting to the back you can see so i'm still making sure that i keep on sewing on where i want to sew you have to be careful allow around this area you get be watching the lower part be watching your fabric watching whatever you're doing so that you don't stitch on where you don't want to stitch and that's going to be catastrophic okay and the worst thing that can happen to you is to 
go this far with your stitching they have to loosen it all around it's just going to make you lose uh morale <laughs> okay it's just going to make you you know somehow sad so i don't like i won't like that to happen to you now i hope you're seeing how spiral and wavy my flounce is I hope you're seeing it. So this is what your crinoline and your pleating, especially box pleating, gives you. Now I'm done um, attaching the flounce. You can see from the front to the back. I'm done attaching the flounce. So what I'm going to do next is to, is to top stitch. Okay. So please ignore the hand you're seeing. There are about five persons behind this camera watching and learning as well. Okay. So just please try to accommodate them. You get so you can see that I'm done, so it's time to top stitch. Okay, I don't want to leave this like this, I don't want them to be seeing that outside. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and start top stitching. I'm top stitching, I'm stitching this not like top stitching the lining or anything, just stitch the flounce again to the you are stitching on the flounce and on the dress. Do you get so? I'm also watching the back, okay, behind to see that I'm not stitching on anything. I'm not supposed to stitch on you get so this is top stitching now you can see me looking at the back continuously this is very very important so that something doesn't get in your way and you start losing I'll be mad like I'll be so angry you get so that is why I'm checking so just go ahead and keep top stitching okay you can actually increase the length your stitch length okay at this point so that your thread will not be cutting Okay, so I had to increase my stitch length to four to be able to climb uh, the satin, the lining, and the lace itself. Okay, plus the crinoline that is inside it. Okay, so that's why I said you should use a much lesser crinoline than the length of your of your flower so that it doesn't get in the way of your sewing. Do you get? So you can see me constantly watching the back to see that I have I'm um, sewing accordingly or accurately. All right. So this is what my flounce looks like. I'm also just going to go ahead and repeat the same process to the other side. Remember, I have two flounces. I have one for the left and one for the right. So I'm just going to go ahead and top stitch this thing. Go ahead and also attach the other flounce. So this is how we do it. Keep on top stitching. Okay, keep the stitching gently, wildly, wirelessly, jaja, suffering. Okay, so I just want to show you what I've done so far. Okay, so you can see that I'm no, 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 you're no longer seeing the rough edges. Okay, 